And I think it absolutely makes us better financially as a company. Warner Enterprises is a, a debt-free company. Uh, as it is, I think a, a tool like Tempo helps keep us in that box. My name is Johnny Boykin. I'm with Warner Enterprises. I'm a software development manager, uh, the DevOps solution owner, as well as the Atlassian solution owner. Warner Enterprises is a third party logistics company, which is kind of a fancy way of saying we move people's uh, freight from point A to point B. And we do that using trucks, planes, cargo ships, trains, and small vans. Right now we have uh, around 2,000 employees and we have onboarded uh, about 300 of them into Tempo. So uh, as we roll out our Atlassian solution, um, we are expanding that space. Right now it's mostly isolated to our IT folks. But eventually I see us rolling this out to an enterprise-wide um, system where you know all the time tracking that we have for our hourly employees across the enterprise uh, we could utilize this we still have some uh, clocks on the wall where people punch a IBM card in 2019 pretty high tech yeah, I talk about it like I've been using it for a lot of years, right? So I think we've had Tempo for about three months. We went in head first without really knowing a lot about it, uh, but there's a lot of information on the Tempo website and in Google and in the community uh, and in Atlassian uh, that we've been able to review and get to where we are. Um, I still don't think we're using it to its fullest extent, uh, but I'm confident we're on the right path and, and we will, and this will help make us better at what we do. And I think it absolutely makes us better financially as a company. Warner Enterprises is a, a debt-free company. Uh, as it is, I think a, a tool like Tempo helps keep us in that box. Uh, I think just makes everything more streamlined, right? And, and at the end of the day, easier. And it frees up a lot of time for us to do those things we, we couldn't do before. You know, before we could just focus on the CapEx because it was so manual and so uh, arduous an effort. Now uh, that we've streamlined that process to a simple report, now we can start doing those other things that as a business division we need to do, which is to accurately reflect to our customers how much value and we're giving to them and the cost of that value. Another thing is we used to just use a fictitious $55 per hour rate for defining what a project costs. Through the price sheets, um, we're able to accurately report our contractor costs and then eventually we'll be hooked into our HR system so that uh, we can do away with that fictitious $55 an hour and we will know down to the penny what development efforts really cost. So I, I like the automated email. You know, we, we have, um, it's hard enough to get developers to log time uh, and comments to stories. Uh, so one of the features I really like in Tempo is that I can set a threshold. And by the end of the week, if you haven't logged that many hours, it starts sending you emails and it continues to send you emails until you satisfy it. Now our developers are pretty, pretty savvy. So they go in and build rules in Outlook to filter those out, put those right into the delete bucket. Um, but we have found an automated way to alter that from email address uh, frequently. So we, we, now it's a game, right? I'm gonna keep doing this until you just enter your hours. So just enter your hours, it'd be easier. It's kind of like my kids, right? 
when they were young, unload the dishwasher, or we could talk about it for 15 minutes, we're still gonna unload the dishwasher. So just unload the dishwasher and let's move forward. Well, developers still struggle to put time in, right? Uh, so there's no magic bullet there. Um, but I think just uh, from a business perspective, how we operate uh, and, and our ability to have accountability uh, with our business partners and give them accurate data as opposed to wild guesses. Uh, I think that just makes us more efficient and we start operating in a more fact-based world uh, and in reality than a story we choose to tell ourselves.